Part of the joy of these Subaru EJ series engines is the factory engine management for them is completely self-diagnostic. Um, if there's a problem with anything electrical, uh, the computer can determine what it is and then store that as a code. Uh, the later model stuff does need a um, special scan tool to retrieve those codes, but the earlier stuff like this EJ22 is really simple to just check at home with absolutely no tools needed. Um, of course all this technology has its downsides. It's taken me three computers to finally get one that doesn't give problems. My original one here, uh, the air conditioning controls are faulty. The second one I got, the purge control solenoid was faulty. Um, and touch wood, third one has yet to present any problems. Uh, obviously this is installed in a Volkswagen Beetle, but really the only difference is I've installed the ECU under the rear seat. Uh, in a Subaru vehicle you'd find this under the dashboard, uh, or mainly on the driver's side. Uh, you got that's the OBD or onboard diagnosis plug, which is what the dealership plugs their computer into. And these four here are the diagnostic plugs. Uh, these green ones are the check connectors, and by plugging those in together, it will just check the operation of various electrical components. Um, with those plugged in now, if I turn my ignition on, um, you can hear that's my radiator fans and fuel pump pulsing. Um, you can hear stuff doing shit here. Probably the idle control valve there, or the purge solenoid. And it probably does other stuff too, but that's the gist of it. And these other two here, uh, the black ones, which can actually be white in some vehicles, they are the diagnostic plugs, or the reed connectors. So now with the green ones unplugged and those black ones plugged in, uh, if there's no problems, if you turn your ignition on, that's my check engine light there. Flashing like that means all is fine and dandy. But what I'll do is make it throw a code for me. By um, just unplugging something, well, like my throttle position sensor. And if I didn't have those black connectors together, my check engine light would be on. But now if I turn that engine off and turn it back on, it should throw a code at me. Which it's doing. Um, the error codes are all double digit numbers and the check engine light will display it by um, showing the first digit as long flashes and second digit as uh, short ones. You can get a list of what the faults mean off most Subaru forums. Um, I always keep a list of them in the car. and. Uh, go through and find out what that means. Naturally it would be the um, throttle position sensor wherever that is. Code 31, so it would be three long and one short. Like that. Um, now the computer will keep a uh, log of that code until such times as it's manually reset or the uh, battery's disconnected for a long enough period. Uh, the manual reset 
involves a lot of secret handshake bullshit like um, starting it, getting it to temperature, driving at a set speed, blah blah blah. I just find it easier to leave the battery disconnected overnight. Um, and that's about it. Always make sure you disconnect your plugs uh, after you finish your diagnostics, otherwise the engine will uh, most likely stay in closed loop mode and not run to its best ability.